Mr. Peter Obi arrives at the country home of the murdered Labour Party senatorial candidate in Enugu East Senatorial District, Oyibochuku. He is accompanied by the governorship candidates of the party in Enugu and Abia states, as well as the national chairman of the party, Julius Abure, and party stalwarts. In the charged atmosphere, Mr. Peter Obi calls for calm and promises not to abandon the family of Mr. Chuku. As a party, to pay condolence to the family of Oliver Chuku and the entire Chuku family, Kamori Farm, and the Enugu community. On a very sad death of our own central candidate, our brother, our father, one of us who were in this journey with us. But like I always said, I know the enemies killed him. However, the national chairman of the party also prays for the repose of the soul of the late lawyer and tells the people that the party have fulfilled the promise made to the family. We believe that this community has what it takes to give a quality representation in the Senate to this senatorial district and to this community. We are going. And that's why today I have the honor and privilege to also inform you that a family member from here is the one that is replacing the dead one. And we are supporting him, we are supporting him. He's going. He's going. I appreciate the fact that we are not here to campaign. We are here in a sort of full mood. We are here to pay our condolences. But we must state the obvious that we believe in this family. Mr. Peter Obi then moves to the Umunechi local government area of Abia State, where he campaigned for Mr. Alex Uti, the governorship candidate of the Labour Party and Labour Party candidate for the State House of Assembly.